guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be painting this portrait with snakes in it. Yep, that's my eloquent arty way of talking about my art. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that if you are interested in seeing sort of the behind the scenes process for this painting with my concept sketches and a video of my color compositions and testing out color palettes and things like that all of that information is available to my patrons on patreon so starting at just one dollar a month you can see the behind the scenes for this painting and lots of other little things that i've been working on and sharing over there if you pledge at any time in the future, you have access to all of my previous posts and sketchbook PDFs and early access to YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. So the link for my Patreon is in the description of this video. I'm also going to be making this original painting available for sale on my Ticktail store and there will be prints and stickers and all that kind of stuff available of him as well on my Redbubble shop. So. All of those things are in the description and you are more than welcome to check them out. So now that we've talked about those things, let's talk about the painting itself. I, I had a lot of fun with this one. I had kind of an idea of what I wanted and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I will say this is just a tiny kind of random thing. The background color, I used a lot of M. Graham's turquoise watercolor, and I imagine that that's pretty similar in composition to like a phthalo blue. I didn't check specifically, but it's super mega staining. Like I, I actually had trouble um, once I laid the color down softening the edges, so I had to like start to work with that right away as soon as I laid it down. Whether I used it within the skin or wherever I used it, I had to like, oh my goodness, I had to do that. So I do have a topic that I want to talk to you guys about today, which you probably have already seen in the video title. And it's something that a few of you had expressed interest in learning about or hearing me talk about um, in my Q&A video from last week. And that was this idea of balancing art and family or balancing life and art because as a few of you may know if you watch that q a i have a family i have two beautiful little children and an amazing husband he's not you know as little as the children but <laughs> i love them so much and uh art is also my full-time job so how do we do that i want to talk to you guys a little bit about those things today. So I am of course super fortunate enough to be able to work from home and my children are still little enough that they're not going to school or anything so they're home all day too. Uh, I feel like we kind of have a dream situation here and I know that this doesn't work for everybody but we're really fortunate because my husband also works from home and um, now he doesn't work from home every single day, but the days that he has to go into the office are just family days. So those days I don't really get much artwork done. I just spend time with my kids and I take them to the library and I play with them and we go to the playground and we hang out with their friends. And that's, that's our day, we just do that. And then on the other days, of the week, my husband, who is amazing, watches our children and plays with them and feeds them and interacts with them and teaches them while he works. So um, I think one of the biggest keys to our situation working successfully is that we all support one another. So my husband supports the work that I do and I support the work that he does. And sometimes, you know, my work schedule isn't always set in stone if I have to take the kids and um, he's super flexible about helping me at various times of the day and I think the key first element is just being supportive of one another and being flexible. It, it takes a bit of selflessness to kind of be willing to stop, like my husband is so willing sometimes to stop his schedule and take the time to help me to, to make the things I want to do possible. Like just as a tiny example this morning, um, my husband and he, he's he's not working today because it's Easter's coming up and um, he's taking the kids with him to the grocery store so that I can record this voiceover and 
It's amazing because not only does that support allow me to get work done and vice versa, I can help my husband to get his work done. It also builds this sort of just respect and love for one another that we have in that I appreciate so much what he does for me. It, I know I've talked about I feel like I'm living a dream before because because I'm able to do art, but also just in my family situation, the fact that we get to do that. I think one of the biggest ways to have supportive family is to be honest with each other, to express what it is your dreams are. Just be honest and just explore your ideas and your options and brainstorm crazy dreams with each other and letting each other know what it is that you'd like to achieve, what you're aspiring to, whether or not that's art, just be honest and open and share yourselves with one another so that you have something to be excited about with each other. That's, that's so important. And whether you have children or not, whether you are a parent or whether you are the child in your house, meaning whether you're a young teenager or a young adult and you have parents that you have to balance things with, one of the biggest things is just to be honest and to communicate your goals with one another. One of the biggest things is spreading the load and whether you're making videos or just making art in general, one of the biggest things is trying not to feel like you have to carry all of that weight by yourself, whether it's just taking the time to learn new things, having people that you can balance responsibilities with, even just in the terms of having somebody that you can talk to and vent to when you're feeling frustrated about your progress or things like that, support is essential. And whether that's in the case of your family or in the form of your friends or finding other people who enjoy making art who are willing to talk to you about things or share art with you or share art supplies with you if you're on a budget, which, you know, who's an artist who's not on a budget, I mean. And outside of your interactions with other people, it's also so important to balance yourself. And by that I mean, it can be so easy in the art wormhole to just feel like you need to spend every minute of every day working on art or you're wasting time and you're on the internet and you're not getting as good as other people and you feel like you just need to spend more time doing art and that's a trap. You have to set a schedule for yourself. So set time limits. Tell yourself from this time to this time I'm going to work on art and when that time passes, stop. Because if you're not keeping your mind and your body healthy and giving yourself downtime, giving yourself restful time to spend with people and to relax, you're going to burn out and you're just going to go through this incredible cycle of always being frustrated and never feeling good enough. And somehow by spending less time, if you're spending way too much time on it, by spending less time and having a better balanced life, you're going to feel better, you're going to feel happier and you're going to feel better about your art because that time will be more productive and you'll just be in a better mental state. I know I could talk about that forever, but I hope that makes sense. You can't just balance other people and your relationship with them. You also have to be willing to inter internally in yourself be balanced and be solid. Otherwise, you're if you're not balancing yourself, you're not going to be able to constructively work with other people. If you have any more specific topics or questions about this topic in particular, please leave them in the comments and I would be more than happy to answer your question specifically. So support is essential and like the job that I do, sure I make my videos and I, I edit my videos. Look at his balloon skin. I added some highlights to him and his skin looks like a balloon and I like it. Rainbow balloon! Yay! Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, oh gosh, no I don't remember now. Um, oh no. It was important and it was inspirational and now I've forgotten it. Support each other, s spread the love. I'll support you, you guys need help? I, I can encourage you, encourage each, oh gosh, I don't remember. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful week. Bye, bye bye.